All right. How are you doing today? All right. Good. <laughs> what mindset shifts are necessary to achieve ambitious goals? Um, the more ambitious you are, the more driven you are, the more intense your focus needs to be and the less drama and distraction you need. So, you know, for some of the super ambitious, sometimes they'll go unconscious and do a bender or something and then they become some form of self-sabotage. We all see the celebrities, they get in trouble that way or the top athletes, yeah. you know, they basically have sex with the wrong woman, that kind of thing. Okay. So, but in general, when we're super driven, we gotta eliminate the dramas and distractions and enhance our focus everywhere, off the field for on the field and vice versa. Thank you. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Good. Good. Um, how can I break down large goals into smaller achievable steps? Okay, so this is what we talked about a little bit in the last video, right? So you have an overall intention, you know, you want to be, um, you know, you want to make um, D1 baseball and then maybe you want to get drafted and maybe you want to be a major league baseball player, for example. Well, you have a one step at a time approach. You got to train your mind, you got to get more present, you got to get hitting instruction, pitching instruction, whatever it is along the way. So you want to set up a bunch of series of goals and accomplishments and then have milestones and feedback, right? You want to be open to the feedback because the athletes that go the furthest and the people that go the furthest are constantly doing course correction. They're constantly learning from their mistakes and improving. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. How are you doing today? Yeah, all right. Good. Um, so what roles does visualization play in achieving goals? Yeah, so the visualization experience is profound, right? Um, I like just turned on the fans and I don't know if they're going to make noise or not. So we'll start the video over in a sec. Okay. Let me just see if they squeak. Oh, uh, shoot, they're okay. All right, so visualization is super valuable. Um, you know, the, the brain doesn't really differentiate necessarily between what happens in the mind's eye and what happens in reality. So you can really train yourself. You know, I used to sit in meditative states and visualize shooting like really low, round, low rounds of golf or burning the first four holes. I had so many cool experiences on golf courses, not really directly related to practice, but related to visualizations, right? Mm -hmm. And then being able to see and feel in your mind's eye, it's a combination of the two that's invaluable here in Valencia, right? The seeing and feeling. You can see it, and then the more you feel it, the more you draw it to you. Pretty special stuff. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Brett. How hey, are you? Hey, How are you? Good, good. Um, so I wanted to know, what are some effective goal-setting strategies? Okay, goal-setting goal strategies. Um, I think, in general, you want to, like, really be aware of who you are and what you're about and what you really want. And so goals are something that you want to be able to do monthly or, or every few months or certainly several times a year. Right, and so there's bigger goals and bigger priorities and there's smaller ones and breaking it down has value. But it's an important exercise because if you don't know what you want, it's hard to achieve it. And if you don't refine what you want, it's hard to achieve it. So I think both are necessary. The overall goal, what I call an intention, it's like back here in your consciousness. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to win a national championship or whatever it is. And then you have the specific goals of how you're going to freaking get there. Thank you. All right.